Hello! In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how you can make terrain in Roblox Studio without Blender, and it will look something like this. First thing you want to do is you want to go into your browser and you want to type in this link right here. I'll put it in the description for you. And it already I already own the item, but you want to click the button that says install. And then after that, you want to go into your Roblox Studio and want to go to your plugins tab up here. And then you want to go and click on your I don't know how to pronounce that, but your as terrain easy, I don't even know. And then so you want to go down here to terrain, and then it looks complicated, but it really isn't. So first, you want to choose what material you want. So like smooth plastic is my favorite, but like if you're trying to make grass, maybe you want the grass material or whatever material you want. And then let's just say we want to make, let's just try and make a little grass scene. And so we choose, we choose what color we want. There's a bunch of colors here, but if you want, you can just um, go up here into the workspace and choose whatever color you want for it. And then you can just type that right here. So like, let's say we want... Uh, lime green you would just go up here and type lime green oh I misspelled it and there we go it has lime green right there and then once we choose what material and color we want it to be we have to actually create the stuff itself you can use the triangle one and just do it like this and click and have your triangle node right there you can, it doesn't look like it's there, but it actually is. If we delete the base plate, oop, you'll see it, but for now, we need it. But it, yeah, it shows better right there. But you can do that and all, but I, I don't really like doing that. I like, because if you're trying to do it quickly, that's probably what you want to do. But if you're trying to do it, like, well, I guess, just choose the nodes option and create some things like this. So like maybe we want to make a pathway or something. We can just do it like this. And then we select the triangles and we connect all these nodes. And there we go. There we go. And then all you have to do is select. Oop. All you have to do is select the um, nodes like this. And then we have a pathway right here. And another option like I, if you saw what we had what was there in the beginning of the video if you want to make something more like that what you can do is you can actually go into your view then you go into your um, terrain editor right here and then you can maybe like create some terrain like this or something so like maybe want to make a hillside and then we can just select node and we can just make a like a grassy hillside type of a scene you can do whatever you want with these. It's free. It's completely free. And it's better than most of the paid low poly terrain options that you can get. So, like this maybe. And then we just, all we have to do now is connect all these nodes like this. And then once we finish that, we can just delete the terrain. So all you have to do is um, go down here into subtract, delete all this terrain. And if, if that takes a while, so you can just go up here into your workspace and select terrain and click the delete or backspace key. And that's how you make a very, very simple, um, um, what is that, hillside. But if you want to make it a bit more advanced or nicer, you can move some of these nodes out like that. Or like maybe this way, this way. You can move it however you'd like to make it exactly how you want it. But that is how you make very, very simple, really nice low poly terrain. And also, if you don't want this, these black nodes on here, all you have to do is you go into your workspace. There'll be a folder called nodes. And then there'll be one called really black nodes. You want to select the top one, then shift and select the bottom one. And then you can just change the um, transparency down here to 1, and they'll be all hidden. 
And then next time you want to actually come back into your project, you can just go back here, select all these, uh, change the print transparency to zero, and you can start editing again. And there's so much you can do with this. And that's really all I have for this video. Join the Discord if you have any more questions about tutorials or if you want video suggest suggestions. And subscribe and like the video. Uh, that's basically all for this video. Goodbye.